Welcome to a new advanced Java tutorial. Most likely you have already encountered one of the following errors when you run a jar on a different device than it was developed on. This happens because the compiler version that was used to build the jar is higher than the one you try to run it on. For example, you compiled with Java 1.8 and the target device only uses 1.6. In order to prevent this, we will create a small tool to find out which compiler version was actually used to compile the jar. First, I will show you a way to do this with the JDK itself. For that, I have extracted the jar file from within the jar. We open up the command line and navigate to our Java installation. Then we use the Java P tool, minus V, and now we add the path to our class files. For me it's this class file. You just hit enter and you get a bunch of informations. Right at the top there is the information about the minor and major version. You can also pass the result to the find string command on the Windows or the grab command on the Linux. And here we put in version so we will only get the two lines containing the word version which are exactly the ones we are searching for. But to use this command the JDK needs to be installed on the target device and in addition you need to extract the jar to get access to the class files. So for the daily usage this command is not very likely to be used. And that's why we develop a small tool that takes a jar file, extracting a class file of it and identifying the compiler version that was used to compile the jar. Let's get started. First we will create a new class. I will just call it version. However, all we need is a main method and I will add a new method public static int get version. So this method will take a path to a jar file and we will start extracting the jar file. For that we have the jar file class in Java coming from the Java util jar package and we can create a new jar file by calling the name constructor which is the name of the jar that is being opened so basically the path to the jar. We need to surround this with a try catch here is done by Eclipse automatically. We will now iterate over each entry of this jar file. So I have jar dot get entry which gives me a single entry and the entries enumeration which gives us all the content of this jar file. Because this is an iteration we don't have an iterator for it. We could manually go through each entry but we can also just use the collections from the Java Util class which creates us a list from this enumeration and for that we can now do the for each loop. For every entry of this one we will go through import this and now we have every file in our jar file which are basically the manifesto scripts and also the class files which we are looking for. So we check if the file.getName ends with dot class so we can be sure it's a class file. If we found the class file we will open up the data input stream and for this data input stream we need an input stream. So we call the jar dot get input stream passing through the file we are currently iterated to and get our input stream. Now you need to know the internal layout of a class file. The first four bytes are the so-called magic number. We will get this magic number by calling the disk read int which states in its description the next four bytes will be read from the input stream which is exactly what we want and this magic number if it's a valid java class needs to be 0x cafe babe which is a hexadecimal number and if the class starts with this combination we will read the minor version which are the next two byte of the file and 
After that we read the major version, which are an additionally two bytes. We now have the major and the minor version. To identify the Java class you only need the major version. At least until now. Maybe the future will bring up new stuff there, but we can now just return our major version here. In order something went wrong, we will return null here as the major version. Now we got major version, so we need to interpret this number. I've already prepared the matching from the major version to the JDK version. I will just save the version we get here from path to a jar, which I will insert later. Then we just need to switch the version. When it's 45, it's the JDK 1.1, and the latest on is the JDK is the major version 52, which is the current Java 1.8. I have already prepared an example jar file on my desktop so you can use any jar file you have. If I run this, you see it's saying it's the JDK 1.8 which I was using to compile this jar file. A different example is this file. If I run this, you see now it's the JDK 1.7 and so on you can get any of those values if you have a certain jar file which was compiled with a lower version of Java. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions feel free to write a comment and I hope I see you soon.